Hi there, welcome to Isabel Explains. In this video, I will show you how to go from decimals to fractions, more specifically from 0.67 to 2 thirds. Let's go. The first thing I want to say is that I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that 0.67 is actually not 2 thirds, it is just 67 over 100. And I made another video about that, so you can go ahead and check it out right here on, this, on the whatever that's called. What is that called? Card. <laughs> now the good news is that 0.67 is actually 0.66 repeating rounded up. That's why I actually don't recommend you guys round up unless it's absolutely necessary. Now the question is, how do I go from 0.6 repeating to 2 thirds? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set it up as x equals to 0.6 repeating. And in this case, my x is just gonna be the fraction that that 0.6 repeating is going to be. Keep in mind that a number, whether it's a fraction, a radical, a logarithm, it doesn't matter what it is, it's still a number. So it's still gonna follow the exact same rules of multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Let's keep that in mind. Now, in order to solve for x, what we have to do is we have to multiply by 10. Why? Because in 0.6 repeating, there's only one decimal place that we want to get rid of. And if we multiply by 10, what we get is 6.6 .6 repeating. I hope that makes sense. Now, whatever we would do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So 10x is going to be equal to 6.6 .6 repeating. Now, if you know a little bit about system of equations, which you may or may not know just yet, just know that when you have two equations that this variable has the exact same value for both equations, we can always add or subtract one of the equations from the other, which I think is really cool. The other way that you can think about this is that whatever you subtract on one side, you have to subtract on the other side. For example, here I am going to subtract x and here I am going to subtract 0.6 repeating. Why? Because x and 0.6 repeating are the exact same thing. Also, because x equals to 0.6 repeating, it's an equation that has the same value for x, so I can actually subtract it from the other equation. I hope that makes sense. Now that is gonna be 9x equals to six, and we know that in order for us to leave the x alone, we have to divide by whatever number is being multiplied by it. Now x is equal to six over nine. We know that six and nine share a common factor, which is three. So we divide by three on top and bottom and we get two thirds. Thank you so much to Manasvi for sending that question in. As always, I left you guys a worksheet in the video description. If you found this video helpful, make sure to share it with your classmates. You don't know who else can benefit from it. And if you wanna know how to convert non-repeating decimals or terminating decimals into fractions, make sure to watch the next video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.